Hey there, everyone. I hope you're all doing good. Today we are going to take a look at one uh, type of patch that I really enjoy. That's called Subharmonic Divisions. It's the same kind of sound generation technique used in the Moog Subharmonicon. So let's uh, first start with the no coast, which is very capable at this little trick. Okay, so here, we will have our main oscillator droning a little, so you can hear it. A little bit of reverb from the light pedal because it was on the table. <laughs> so the idea behind this patch is instead of listening to the oscillator itself, in between, we are going to use a function generator. In this case, this slope circuit. I'm going to take the output of the slope and put it there. You can already hear that we have the same frequency. So if I move the pitch of my oscillator, I have the same pitch. Because what's happening here is that the square wave of the oscillator is re-triggering at its speed the function, which is a triangle here, has rise and fall are at the same length, and we are in linear mode. Now, one of the particularity of most of the so-called function generator is that they will ignore incoming triggers when they are in their rise portion. So if I start to increase the rise time magic I have an octave down again The fall will be some kind of a width or tonal control most of the time because it won't be ignored. So it can sound a little bit like pulse width modulation or of some kind. So the way to use it, kind of the same way as in the subharmonicon, is to use a very high pitched oscillator. So then here, I will have a lot of subharmonic possibilities. Okay, let's start over and uh, make a sequence out of this. I'm going to use the end of cycle of the fusion modulator over here to clock this little analog sequencer, as well as the contour of the no-coast. Okay. Instead of sequencing the pitch like this, for example, I will take my square wave, patch it to the trigger here, Take the output here, so I'm listening to this. Subharmonic generator. That is the slope circuit. And I'm going to control the time of this. And what's magic about this is that you don't have to care about the tuning because the root note will always be controlled by this one. And sometimes the harmonica are uneven and can sound a little bit weird. 
that's something then with no cost you can for example blend in the original oscillator into this add a lot of reverb and be an happy person the two go a bit further with this patch I'm going to show you that we can actually use more than one and that's even more fun that's I think that's what what's happening in, in the subharmonic I'm not sure about it but I think you have a few different so let's also trigger this boundary from Schlappy Engineering, which is sort of the same thing. I put everything at zero. I'm going to clock this second one as well. Because why not? I'm going to use the 100 grid to mix the two in one in two oh, same thing here I'm going to lower everything so we don't have weird feedback going on which is the specialty of this module so here I should be listening to this one Let's control the rise. So we want to increase it. So yeah, as I was saying, there are zones where it's kind of buggy. I do actually like that. Okay, let's bring in number two. This one we could, for example, not animate it, but just try to find zone that we like let's filter this a little bit Let's use the slope control over here to control the frequency of the filter. So we have a sort of superposition of those three going on at the same time. This one is zero. Clock the random generator here. to control so whatever I do here all the other guys will stay in tune you can also mess around with like cycling the things or take other outputs such as the end of rise or end of something which will give you square waves instead of the shape you can draw with the rise and fall
that's it for today. In the ceremony, con, there's also some sort of rhythmical divisions of the clock, to clock different sequences. Today, I just wanted to show you how it works with audio, the notes, or to divide down the sound of your oscillator. I hope it was helpful. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Feel free to subscribe and visit Patreon if you want to support those videos or order some new ones on the subject of your choice. Thanks again. See you next time. Thank you.